everyone here at Combo Breaker, this was, I mean, the, there was the, so many people here, so many streams, so many tournaments, and they've been able to handle it quite well. So there sh have sh been sh a sh lot of the games here at Combo Breaker, MK11 being one of many. So this is CEO Grand Champion going up against Rewind in Mortal Kombat 11 Losers Finals. The other Chilean brother, Bro. chilling in Grand Finals. Do you know what this is? You know when you play Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance and you beat Moloch, you then have to fight Quan Chi and then Shang Tsung? Oh no, I think it's the other way around. Basically, you have to fight the Deadly, the, the deadly Alliance. The Deadly the Alliance, final yeah. bosses, And you have to fight them one at a time. Rewind has just defeated Moloch. And now he's in the final two fights of the arcade. He's in the end game now. We must act now. Sorry, they will be unstoppable. We must stop this Deadly Alliance. Can we get an intro where people die? By the way, back in Mortal Kombat, I want to load up the can. game and watch someone get murdered. Bro, I think you need to see a therapist, let alone play the game. I mean, I mean that, that, that's the thing. Did Deadly Alliance so cool? Was that intro video? Luke it's Kang is dead. Well, you know what? Suck, Johnny Cage bitch. has been picked versus the Cabal, so not a bad choice. Doesn't mm. mean they're any good. Round one. Fight. Now I will only assume that Rewind did go in with some of the uh, arcing force balls, but oh, already starting things off strong. We saw, we saw that that was effective when it was what Scorpion Prox versus Video Games Yo in an absolute classic. Those arcing projectiles were able to stop the uh, aerial advancement of Cabal quite well. And we see more Cyrax in the back. Just going to become another bot in the stage later, buddy. Oh, that whip oh, punish. Oh, my goodness. That whip punish made me feel a certain way. The double did it? Jump in. Yeah, it did. It was great. Yeah, let's say, was it a good feeling at least? Yeah. Then you got your money's worth. Or two. Oh, we the flawless block. Every stag, every single stagger of Cabal can lead that situation. That's what's so scary about the character. One, four, two, back one. Every single stagger, four, two as well. Just safety for rewind. Oh, that's interruption back three, and that's a spot to interrupt both forward and back three from Scorpion Prox, knowing the space and what button to press to interrupt every single option. Smart start from Scorpion Prox. Comfortable first round. Woo! In the instant air to air, though, I mean, that was half read, half reaction, it felt like. Rewind, know your enemy. Looking for a flawless block, that's what the short off was, though. Scorpion Prox able to knock him out of it. Rewind, off to a pretty decent start in this next round, though. The knockdown of that buzz source is cause a little bit of bother as now it pushes forward. That back one doesn't quite hit its mark, but we're just trading. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Rinse and repeat for that. And, and I love that you see Rewind, or any, anytime, oh my goodness, that's sniped him out of the sky. He tries to close that gap immediately. He's trying to fight Scorpion Prox up in his face. He says, if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna beat me up close and make some hard reads. And that's more two just ate a button from Johnny Cage. And the breakaway comes late, but you still ate 300 damage. A third of your life is gone. And then you spent meter. And it's a scary time to be in this position. 340 health left. Oh, the counter pick up two. Rewind scouts out, but just doesn't have a lot to work with there. This is the level that we're at, where he said, I'm going to bet on him being godlike. That's where we're at right now. Patience from Scorpion Prox had a way out the Fatal Blow cancel. And now he's got about seven seconds left to do some damage. We have to worry about that again. It's not even going to matter. And on the amputation should be all she wrote. That's the armor break. No defensive warrior worry about it anyway. And Scorpion Prox looking a little, a little different in that second round. Rewind, making some good aggressive reads. Even right there, looking for the rising star. Great anti-air on the approach from Cabal's as well. It's, he, I think he took some notes from that VGY matchup earlier. I, it could very well have influenced why Johnny Cage was picked in the first place. And there's one thing that Rewind has put forward here, that word's confidence. Rewind is always confident. His character choices, the decisions that he makes, he's going for things like instant jump-in, preemptive reads, and they're working out, guess what? Because he believes in his decision. Yeah, and, and those are bold beliefs because they, they're going to leave you in a really negative situation. It's not, oh, you aren't going to air that bad boy from that range. That's for sure using those hooks. Scorpion Prox, you know, it's crazy how different Cabal can be if he's if, if he's doing jump ones, if he's doing jump kicks, or the jump one that has such a big horizontal hitbox to it. Look at these staggers, both of them. Megan Reed's just single pokes right now. These two are fighting up close, throwing jabs, and wait for a couple of haymakers to come. Oh, that anti-air was so crisp. But Rewind has a lot more work to do. Scorpion Prox, full bars of meter, and actually so much of this is going to be unbreakable too. Anything into Nomad Dash, standing four, the spin, amplifier. I mean, if Rewind gets hit now, he's pretty much done. Ooh, especially now the grab hit its mark. 
Full screen, steps back. Nice loss block by everyone to avoid some of the frames there. Things like the micro death from Scorpion Prox gonna take him. But it was a hard fought first game. It was. It was. Rewind, thinking. I think I heard character select. Round no, we're immediately fight. back in. And something I saw Scorpion Prox bring to the table. Oh, not again! That's how the first game started. Plus, that's some really good damage to start. Is if you remember against Michiwai, he was waking up down one. Abs an absurd amount. And he's already kind of established out here against Rewind because that's going to stop that kind of 1-2 pressure early on. Right there, he, he probably even tried it. I love that, though, because Rewind is well aware and he's timing it so the 2 comes out oh, right yeah. as the wake-up takes place. And that is, as we say, the mix. That is the mix. Adaptation, good friend. And Scorpion Prox, side switch. E, 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 E. Woo, the triple jump kick. Again, you were mentioning during the break that we just see them do things differently from everyone else. In that same situation, every other Cabal that we saw this tournament, Beautiful Rising Star, has ended it in kind of that conventional combo, whereas these guys are just super optimal just because they are. An armor break hits its mark, though, Aquaman. Then you are money. buying on the money, though. It, it's just so unusual to me how they're playing with these, you know, rather popular characters, and they're doing stuff that we don't see from other players. It is that level of optimization that makes them such a threat. And again, rewind. Happy to let this go. It was Woo! just a safe bet that the armor breaker was coming. Just hold the less combo damage. It's throw. Escape failed. Not that it matters against Cage. Oh, ended it. I think everyone reacted to the whiff. But that last hit coming in time. That's going to be an awkward situation to be in. There is, there's a triple bomb behind him. Has the resources if he wants to try to armor it. That delayed forward 2-2. Two, two. Really often doesn't really get stuck out with the intention of it hitting, I feel. It never hits. But yeah. it does create a weird down one situation. Yeah, because he's going to be, what, zero minus one? Uh, and that was baited, hook, line, and sinker from Rewind. I can only assume that because it was so obvious and the defense up until that point had been so rock solid, that was the play. There's no way you're ready for this because I've been blocking everything up until this point, but eh, Rewind will be ready for it. There's a pickup. Oh my Lord. And that wasn't just doing the jump in option select. That was a conversion for even more damage. This is what I'm talking about. This is the most t uh, throws I've seen tech ever in, in a single bracket. I mean, start to end. People are reacting Whoop. better. That was a big ramping swing of the Woo! And even here, just the pace that they're playing at every single button, there's so many mind games behind it. And the fact that on top of it, they're still looking for flawless blocks, throws, which are still huge risks of their own in a Micro Duck OS meta. They got some big balls. First, first few projectiles that we've seen from Rewind, I feel like he'll set long too. He's been afraid. One wrong projectile, and Cabal might be coming in hot from the skies. Ready to make it rain hellfire. Iron up the fact that Scorpion Brox is sitting pretty with two bars of meters, both offense and defense. Now, Rewind has defended so much that he has been given Fatal Blow, and that might be the skeleton key to success. Unfortunately, with that grab, things get a little bit more worrisome. Only 7% left to go. 15 seconds on the clock. This is Scorpion Brox's situation. Oh, we're going to make the movement forward with those whiffs jump ones. Oh, not falling for it whatsoever. And now there's no amount of damage that you can do in time. And running out of it is rewinding game number two. Scorpion Prox looking to face his brother once more in Grand Finals. He's a game away. Rewind. America's last hope. Can he do it? He needs a reverse 3-0. Nicolas still on a win. Says, hey, man, clean it up. He's telling his brother to... Are you kidding me? He's still giving advice. He's telling his brother, yo, I... You blocked for like 95% of the offense. It's unacceptable. I think you need to block 100%. He's like, hey, back in the first round, Johnny you dropped this one thing. Tighten it up, man. Otherwise, Tighten we're, it up. we're not going home together. <laughs> Could you imagine if Nikolas came up on stage and just that wasn't advice? He just talked smack to his brother. He's like, I'm going to body you in Grand Finals. You know that, right? Hope you're ready. Hope you're ready, bro. Job's a job. But on a more serious note, Looks like we've gone back into the Johnny Cage. The Johnny Cage did definitely fare a lot better. Yes. Um, but will he bring the arcing projectile? Because he, he had the straight projectile that wasn't effective at all. Yes. But the Rising but. Star was, the guaranteed damage, or the Armor Breaker was. You know, again, I, I, I said it with guaranteed damage. Fight. I'm thinking so hard just the sheer level of defense that we've seen from Scorpion Crocs in this set. That's been the decider. The tech throws, the 
risk calculation on defense as well, knowing when to take this and hold that. The decision making is absolutely keeping him going. We'll just take the KB. Go on then, may as well spend it. He just got rewind. Preston after throws down one on block. He's gonna pay the price for it. Goes back to mid screen and an awkward situation of a whip, instant whip chop normal from him after the knockdown. He gets rewind. A wonderful situation after the knockdown was gonna be just down one. But the flawless block completely stole rewinds so momentum there again. Using the flawless block and then doing the deepest of deep jumping kicks. So if you want a flawless block, me, you have to be ready for that exact one. And yeah. That was a, a classic 90s anti, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah. Round two. It just looks Fight. good. Try to stop those approaches. That's what those down fours that those ranges are for. It's about interrupting the forward three, the back three, forward four that I've been seeing a lot of people utilize recently. Damn, I'm good. Damn, he's good. That's such a clean we like, we like to call that the miracle jumping. Getting over those annoying aerial projectiles into those full combos. Nothing feels better. He's going to eat him. Get out of my bar. It's uh, re well, fairly obvious that this change to Johnny Cage has been really good so far. That was a reactionary instant jump in. And it's given Rewind so much breathing space. I don't know what he thought about during the break. His little breather right there. But he came back a new player. Now, back to the corner. We're talking about it as if this game is over. There is still a chance here for Scorpion Brox to make the comeback, and it could even go into that match point. But oh no, the forward two hits its mark, and he knows Rewind's not going to break. He makes the perfect call, no. and now he can't get hit. If Scorpion touches you, it's fatal blow territory, and that's where Cabal wants to be. The staggers. Rewind just doesn't want to press anything. Oh, and it was on the defense. It pays off. All of that blocking when if you breathe wrong, you die. Sensational. That was so close to being a match point situation. Rewind finds a way. The flawless block. The down two just in case you want to break as well. I mean, this is what, if you're American and you're watching this show, this is what you want. You don't want to be a 3-0. You want Rewind to win and you want Rewind to be in grand final. Here's two more games and this momentum. It's looking solid. Woo! The entire crowd just the same exact wow. He gave himself so much extra velocity to make that nut punch even more painful. Flying from the sky. This is ridiculous. The is coming, in. coming to life here at Combo Breaker. And so is the crowd behind him. And the USA chants, they bro! Were, they have begun. I have not heard the USA chants not, not for in NRS. three years from NRS. I welcome it back. However, Scorpion Prox is going to shut up a lot of people if he takes this win. Oh no, looks like the momentum. Back on Scorpion Prox side of the field. That's a lot of damage. 342, just another day at the office for the speedster from the Black Dragon. Bro, and you know what? With this health lead, you just take that throw almost every time in that situation. It's the less of two evils. It's another one though. Now it's adding up, and the fatal blow cancel will be coming back in about two seconds. Oh, look. Ooh, oh, it's already back. Oh, uh, we're cooking. And everyone needs to close the gap. He's got a lot of damage available. It's gonna be so important to flawless block those jump kicks just to prevent the ability to use the slight gas. Oh, really on this lock. Then to punish their Akaban, but no one home. Scorpion does try and tech at the last minute, but can't get it. Uh oh, he'll have one more fatal blow cancel too. Just came back. I'm worried. And here it comes. Needed the damage, and now rewind is uh, chipped away at what 70% of the health bar conventionally. And now he's got a little bit of healthy. back on the screen, and the throw is going to kill. And we're going to a game number five. What did we just witness? What in the comeback just happened? I'm going to give you a very important talking point, Aquaman. Rewind has been in this tournament zone for many, many years. The Twins, they are of the younger generation. I don't think they have anywhere near as much experience in this situation. Your opponent's making a comeback. The crowd won't shut the hell up. What do you do? And the momentum, you already see Rewind, that first read of the Rising Star, almost putting Scorpion Prox in his place. But we still have a nice little scramble here that has been the neutral between these two. The quick checks, maybe an input air right there. The throw, gonna, gonna do the spin a Rooney. 
this is an important test for Scorpion Prox. This test in particular, where one of America's best is on the verge of making a comeback against you in the home turf at a major tournament where everyone is cheering on your opponent and they want you to lose. If Scorpion Prox can conquer these circumstances right now, genuinely sky's the limit. I do not know where we go from here, but rewind, still, there's a chance to work with. We talked about it that long, what feels like a long time ago now, what Rewind needed, and he walked up. I think he was trying to flawless block that. I see a lot of people trying to walk up into the flawless block and in range for an up two to potentially hit. And Rewind needs a miracle now. Fatal Blows don't play, and the cancel. We've seen comebacks happen masterfully with that. He just hasn't found the hits into the Fatal Blow cancel quite yet. And look at the respect that Prox was giving him. I mean, 10 seconds on the clock. You gotta grab me a lot more, mate. Oh, he was ready for the tech, and now no damage can be done. Scorpion Prox. Was even ready for that, and that is one of the hardest things to block in that situation. What? He blocked it all! He blocked it all! Defense might win championships sometimes. Well, the match round point two. for Scorpion Fight. Prox will continue. One round away from getting the run back against his beloved twin brother. However, rewind. Two rounds to do the exact same thing and get maybe a double kill here in the tournament. The release block tech and the armor break! Oh. Gonna slam it down and take the damage! Goes for the broken back of Johnny Cage there, with the throw! Everyone's gonna make damage, no armor break. And what another wake up down from Scorpion Prox. He is so disrespectful to Johnny Cage. And without defensive bar, this is a whole lot of damage. One last chance potentially for Rewind. There's the whip punish, and there's the throwing shades! Will the comeback begin here? Go in for the bar, spend it, and finish things up with 48%. Rewind has one more opportunity here. No, that will do it! Scorpion oh, Prox with the read of reads towards the end. It was down to one, and Latin America has erupted here at Combo Breaker. It's gonna be Chile versus Chile in Grand Finals. It's the Twins, it's CEO all over again. But how many Game 5s did they both have to go through? How many close matches? And this was us, guys, the, what what was said after CEO cannot be said after after today. Nope. Any kind of excuse about this player, that player. Rewind was a rather prominent one that was brought up. And clearly, we have the same grand finals. Yep. And if you are the two brothers, and actually I didn't get a chance to really talk about this much um, with the CEO situation because they had to fight tooth and nail to get grand finals against each other. Um, and I know that there was a moment in that tournament where uh, they had like a Nightwolf mirror and people were like, oh, they're trolling, they're colluding, they're doing this and that, this and that, this and that. They had fun for like one round of one match where they'd fought all the way through um, to reach that point. For both of these players, whoever wins this grand finals, and this is just going by experience from what M M Mustard and myself would yeah. do and other twins that I know, K-Top and H-Dope, um, we'd see